Emergency crews rushing to Logan Airport to put out a fire on a jumbo jet just minutes after its landing. Busy day out there. Good evening to you. I'm Jonathan Elias. I'm Lisa Hughes. Firefighters got the very first reports of the problem on the Japan Airlines flight at 1040 this morning. A mechanic noticed the fire while the plane was at the gate. The passengers, they just departed. And when firefighters arrived, heavy smoke was filling the cabin of the new Boeing 787. Christina Hager joins us now live with the story at Logan. Christina. Lisa, behind me you can see that Japan airliner plane is parked and that's because it will stay here while investigators look into how this happened. Uh, mechanics first noticed it when they got on they smelled smoke, they looked into it, and then later discovered even flames. When we spoke with passengers after, they had no idea it even happened because they had already deboarded. Everyone made it out of the nearly 12-hour flight from Tokyo to Boston just fine, even though minutes later it was on fire. We observed a heavy smoke condition uh, in the entire cabin. We had utilized our uh, thermal imaging equipment to identify hot spots, and we found a fire condition uh, about midship uh, in the avionics compartment uh, underneath. That's where there's an auxiliary battery that powers on after landing and after the engine is turned off. The FAA is investigating why it was giving off smoke at one point and even flames. Passengers just relieved they were off the plane when that happened. Did you smell anything or anything on you? Um, nothing. Nothing, just like, nothing, smell. I didn't know that, yeah. What do you think of that? So scary, of course. <laughs> also scary for those who were supposed to get on that same plane and head back to Japan, now stuck waiting. We're moving really slowly, so maybe every 30 minutes, just a few more steps. They haven't told us anything about the fire, but we found it online. I'm not even sure when I can arrive at home, so that's a little bit frustrating. Well, the FAA, the NTSB, Japan Airlines, and Boeing all investigating how that battery exploded while passengers breathe a big sigh of relief. This happened after they got off that plane. At Logan Airport, Christina Hager, WBC News. Back to you. Christina, thank you. Japan Airlines launched its nonstop service from Boston to Tokyo on the Dreamliner with great fanfare back in April. It was the Dreamliner's first commercial flight into the United States. This plane has higher ceilings, bigger windows, larger overhead bins, and new technology that counteracts turbulence. It is also the most fuel efficient airplane in Boeing's fleet, and it's 20% lighter than most planes. The average flight time from Boston to Japan, 12 hours.